Welcome again to the LTC Conference 2014. In this video tutorial, I'm going to step you through very quickly the LEO support site that has been developed um, to align with the eCommunity of Practice workshop um, at the conference. So you've self-enrolled into the unit, so well done, and now you've got access to um, the support unit. As I said in the previous video tutorial, um, I wanted you to click on to the conference preparation module and watch the video, which is what you're doing now. Those of you who are eagle-eyed will notice that the, um, the, the video screenshot uh, is actually uh, me wearing different clothes and in a different location. Um, but obviously to actually record this video tutorial, I needed to have um, a, you know, a video up there to show you what to do. So um, excuse, please excuse the, the slight sort of uh, mislocation that's going on there. Okay, just to take you through um, the structure, there's obviously the title and uh, the uh, abstract that was in the, um, that's available on the, on the conference website. And at the moment you can see five different modules. So you can see conference preparation that you've already had a, a look at, uh, workshop presenters, a communication module, a framework model, module, and uh, an e-community of practice module. So if we work from the, the bottom up, um, the last one, the e-community of practice um, module, gives you um, a reading and um, a discussion forum that we might use during the, um, during the workshop. But if you get the chance, I would like you to read that short reading about communities of practice before the workshop, if you have the opportunity. Similarly with the framework module, uh, this has got a reading by Jilly Salmon, who was the keynote speaker at the conference um, two years ago. And again, if you get the opportunity, it'd be great for you to actually read that before the conference um, begins, but it's not a necessity. Then we have the uh, communication module. Um, so this is where, uh, if you've got any questions or queries for myself or my co-presenter, Rita Finlay, um, please put them into the questions and queries for Adam and Rita uh, forum. And likewise, if we've got any important messages for you, we'll put them into the messages from, from Adam and Rita. And there's just one announcement um, welcoming you to the conference in good online uh, teaching practice. Then there's the module, which is the workshop presenters. So there's a little bit of information about myself and Rita Finlay, my co-presenter. Um, and there's also um, my email address there as well, if you need it as well, and our, um, our Twitter handles. Okay, so what I'd like you to do um, before the beginning of the, the conference is to go back into the conference preparation module. And you'll see there are a couple of things here um, that uh, should grab your attention. The, uh, again, starting from, from the bottom, we've got suggested resources to bring with you to the conference. Um, so if you can bring these, it would be extremely helpful. Obviously, your ACU login and um, password so that you can actually access Leo during the, the, the workshop itself. A fully charged laptop, only because I'm not sure about the availability of power in the room. Uh, so a fully charged laptop will be better than a half charged laptop. Um, there should be Wi-Fi compatibility during the conference, so please ensure that your laptop is also um, Wi-Fi compatible. Um, iPads will work with the content and the structure of the workshop, but for those of you that have used iPads and Leo, um, if you're editing a Leo site, iPads aren't the best. Okay, so if you can bring a laptop rather than, a, than an iPad, that would be great, but an iPad <coughs> or um, any other device will, will suffice. I have provided um, an area for each of you to work in, actually in this Leo support site, um, <clears throat> but I'm not so sure about how well uh, the site will support 35 people editing within that site at the same time. So. If you um, can bring a Leo unit that you're happy to practice in, so most of us have got a SAM pit that was set up so that we can um, practice in with Leo um, functionality, or maybe even an old unit or something like that. But if you can bring that as a backup, that would be fantastic. If you're a, a tweeter, please bring your uh, login details for Twitter because we'll be using that at, at one stage of the um, workshop. And finally, if you can bring um, an image, either a JPEG or a um, PNG 
uh, file, which is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. The image itself doesn't matter as long as it fits in with um, appropriate protocols, um, but again, we'll be using that um, during the workshop. And then um, finally, before the, the workshop begins, there's just one more thing I'd like for you to do. And you'll see here it says sign up to a group. And where it says please click here and allocate itself into a group, I'd like you to click on here. And it's going to take you to the sign up groups page on the Leo support site. And um, what I'd like you to do is join one of those groups. If I just take you back very briefly to the home page, as it is at the moment, you'll see that there are five modules there. As soon as you go in and, and allocate yourself into a group, now it's one person per group, okay? Um, so if I was to select group number four and I click on join this group, it shows here that now we've got one member in that group and there are no places left and that's where it should be, okay? And if we go back to the home page for the unit, you'll see that an additional module has appeared and we will be um, using, or you'll be using that as your um, sort of playground uh, during the workshop. So everybody who is a participant in the workshop has access to one module and only you, once you've signed up, only you have access to that module. Okay, so um, you will see um, your six modules um, appear and the last one will be the one that you will play around when play around with um, during the actual workshop. As we get more into the workshop, uh, the, the, the real estate gets a little bit more cluttered on the screen, um, but to all intents and purposes, um, those are the only ones that you'll really be operating in. So I hope that you found the video tutorial helpful, and if you've got any questions, please um, drop me an email and I will, I will get back to you. But otherwise, Rita and I are looking forward to uh, working with you on Friday.